hey and welcome back to cooking with lex we are finally back it's been a few weeks i had a lot going on we had death in the family this week last week my my cousin lost her brother i've just been in support of all of my family members who have been losing people very close to them so we have not been having our cooking show but welcome back we are back to stay you can tell by the title we are making homemade chicken pot pies now homemade chicken pot pies might be one of my favorites but i'm gonna go ahead and get into this ingredient list real quick and we're gonna jump right into it so right here i just got some stir fried chicken because i'm lazy and i don't want to cut it up i got my pie crust some flour some peas and carrots some already chopped celery and onion because again i'm lazy heavy whipping cream we got some minced garlic i also have these puff pastry sheets because i want to try both i did see on tiktok that you could try to puff pastry sheets and they have a flaky layer to them one big russet potato and then we got all of our seasonings we have i think this is onion powder we got the chicken seasoning by kinders we got some bouillon powder some black pepper parsley garlic all of the good things so what i'm going to do is cut up this chicken a little bit more because it's a little too big for my likings and i'm going to go ahead and season it and come right back also i will be making mini pans so i got about eight little mini loaf pans just because i like to eat mine right out of my own pan and then i'm gonna take my mom and them some as well so we're gonna get right into it okay so we cut up our chicken a little bit more i'm adding some olive oil to my dutch oven just to let that heat up real quick and i'm going to go ahead and season my chicken i'm going to use that chicken blend first from kinders it's actually i think it's called grilled chicken it's so good and I'm just going in with two tablespoons of each seasoning. We got some onion powder. And again, two tablespoons. I also have some thyme seasoning. You might want to get fresh thyme, but I didn't have that on hand. Black pepper. A little bit of parsley. I'm only going to do one little spoonful of parsley. And then some, this is garlic powder. That's chicken bouillon. So this is going to be just two tablespoons of garlic powder. While that's heating up, I'm going to go ahead and put my, I'm actually going to cook my chicken in there first. And then I'm going to saute onions and um, celery and then add in my potatoes and then we'll get into everything after that. So I'm actually just going to wait for this to heat up and we'll get right into it. So I just added my chicken right on in in the very hot cast iron Dutch oven. And I'm just going to take my vegetable, mix it in. I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil because it's kind of sticking already. The chicken is already looking super good and flavorful. I'm gonna let that cook down a little bit more and then I'm gonna take it out and add my onions and bell peppers. To this exact same pan, I'm going to add in my celery and onion. I'm gonna cook that down until it's translucent, giving it a stir every few minutes. We'll be back when we're ready to add in our other ingredients. All right, our onions and our celery is pretty much ready um, for, our, for us to add the rest of the ingredients in. I'm going to come in with some potatoes diced up. I actually made two bowls. This is actually just one potato. Mix that all in. Make sure it's well incorporated. We're going to come in with about half a cup of flour. You want it to give a like pasty consistency, so just stir that up for about a minute. I did add a little bit of garlic paste to this. And like I said, you just want it to look a little pasty before you go ahead and add in two cups of bouillon i'm sorry two cups of chicken stock then you're going to come in with a little bit of heavy cream i would say about a little bit over half a cup you can add more as you see fit but i'm just taking it a little at a time and again i haven't seasoned this yet so keep that in mind so here's what it looked like right now again i haven't seasoned it yet or put any chicken back in it or my peas and carrots so i'm going to let this simmer so that my potatoes get a little softer and then we can go ahead and add everything else that we need all right y'all so all i did was add in my peas and carrots and my chicken and i added in my seasonings just my regular seasoning seasoning salt black pepper garlic paste um garlic powder and then i added some chicken bouillon to this as well it's so good and flavorful but now it's time to assemble the pot pie all right, y'all, so our filling is all done, as I just showed you all. And I was playing around with the pastry puff. 
as we were waiting because it took a long time for my potatoes to be to get soft and i don't know why but i basically just took my pan and i'm using mini loaf pans and i just cut around the pastry puff to match it with this so that i can put it right inside of the pan so i'm going to go ahead and place this inside we're going to use this spoon and we're going to get a big heaping amount and place it inside then i take my top one i'm just going to press it in I really do like the way that the pastry puff works over the way the pie crust works. So next time I'll definitely use the pastry puff. But I just found out about it today. So I'm going to show you what I did. So I just took the pastry puff, laid it flat on my countertop. If you have a rolling pan, I don't. You can roll it and get more out of it. I'm just taking my hand and pressing against. And like I said, I just take my pan, my mini loaf pan, and just taking a knife around. I'm gonna do it here as well. I'm gonna put this on the inside because I like a bottom crust too, y'all. I ain't gonna hold you up. I love a bottom crust. Like, I'm not gonna do all of these with a bottom crust, but most of them, that's for me, I'm gonna get a bottom crust. Because I'm gonna freeze some of these and put them, pull them out later because it's just me. So I can have some of these. Baby, it's hot. That's too much. That's too much sauce. I'm gonna take this, place it on top. It stretches really well. I really like the pastry, but uh oh. We put too much in there. We gonna make this work now. This excess and make a bottom layer for a third one. Cause it don't gotta be perfect at the bottom. We just want it to be down there. And one thing about it that you can um, put this in the oven and let your bottom crust bake up a little bit before pan. But I'm not gonna do that because if I wish you can see how dark it is in comparison to how light it was outside when I started. But we gonna get this thing going so we're gonna still use pastry puff we just gonna have to improvise for this one still works it just ain't a perfect cutout looks good to me so here is our first three before they go in the oven and i'm still gonna use some of this for the bottom of another one we got to use everything oh it's so hot y'all whole time I thought I wasn't going to use all of this, and I think I am. Making a total of eight. I don't know if I said that already. And now we're going to do our Pillsbury dough. These are a lot different. The texture is different. It's already rolled up. This is perfect for if you're doing um, an entire pie, which I never want to do because I just want my own personal one. I'm just so used to like the banquet TV dinners. So we're still going to do the same concept. And we're going to put this one. You can tell the difference for sure. We're gonna put that around the top. Then we're gonna get as many pieces as we can out of this one. Let me wish I probably should I go up. So this is gonna be one of those ones that I was talking about where they're not gonna get no bottom crust. They just gonna get filling in the top crust. They be alright. Is they in here slaving making eight pot pies or is I miss? I miss. We're gonna do two of them without a bottom crust. Who gonna check me, boo? Nobody. That's how you improvise right there, baby. That worked out. That worked. Yeah. We can use some of this excess for a bottom crust. All right. We'd be nice. Since y'all want to keep big. Let me make sure one of these can't fit on here. No. We can use it. All right. I'd be nice. Y'all, I might not be able to make all eight. I thought I had a way too much. We might be only able to get one more done. Let's see. One more. We won't be able to do eight. We did get one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I'm doing the most because this crust can come all the way up the top. So we only need this one more. Yep. Do like that. We might not even be able to feel this. I can't believe all of this stuff and is going to be used. I usually have so much excess. We need all of that. Just because I didn't really show y'all what it looks like. That's what it looks like once it's filled. And then I thought we did a good job. Seven Popeyes. You can't go wrong with that. Hopefully all my family don't bombard me and I can freeze one for myself. All right. So what I'm gonna do next is, first of all, we need to put some water in there. It is very much through. That's gonna have to soak overnight in the spoil and hot water. All right, I'm gonna just take a fork and just press it along the sides to give it that little indentation and make sure that it doesn't move. You wanna take some egg wash and put it on top of this. I don't have any, so we're gonna pray that mine don't look kinda crazy. 
I was trying to get eggs at the grocery store and they didn't have any. Like, what's going on? But I wasn't stopping at another one, baby. So I'm just doing the indents that you see people do on a pie crust. And then I'm gonna mark off the pastry puff with a little X across the top so that I know the ones that are mine, cause I'm not sharing them. Everybody else can get regular pie crust, baby. Regular pie crust. But anywho guys, you don't wanna see me mark up all these pies. I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven at 425 until they crisp up. And hopefully they do that fast because I'm hungry and it's late. I had a one-on-one -on -one that I had to stop and do. So that happened. So I'm so behind schedule. But I like this. This is really nice and easy and quick. Well, the pastry puff don't do the whole pie indentation thing. So I'm just going to boom, take a slit there. I'm going to do that for all of the pastry puff ones. Ain't nobody getting none of my stuff. Yo, it's really not cutting. Whatever. We're going to put them in the oven at 425 for 20 to 25 minutes, hopefully. And we'll be back when they're done. We are done. We got a total of seven pie pies. We did that. I wasn't expecting to do it like this, but we did it. Two in here, four in there, and we have this one here. This is probably going to be the one I end up eating tonight. Oh, it is very flaky. Oh, my God. So, I would definitely probably suggest the puff pastry because it's flaky layers versus the pie crust which is like it's still real good but it's not flaky it's the pie crust which we all familiar with uh, i'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it because it's late as heck and i want to go ahead and eat because it's been all day so i'm gonna put the rest of these up so that i can take it to my family tomorrow and that's it thank you god well we'll talk about that when i get over there y'all it's so late but y'all know how this get i had a one-on-one -on -one and all of the things so i'm gonna dig right in Oh, it's so flaky, y'all. Oh, you see how I was just like flicking? So oh, hot. I'm so scared. I will say, it's beyond hot. So I don't even, I can't even dig into this. I don't know how, like, how I feeling is just so much more hotter. I don't know why. I couldn't even dig in, but it's good. I hope that you make this. I probably wasn't as detailed because I had too much going on. One day I'm going to be a full-time content creator. I can do all of the things that I want to do. And I have to pause and do a one-on-one. -on -one. Or pause and like get my work clothes out. Because I'm like literally in the middle of a work night. So be patient with me. I hope that you guys was able to literally follow through the video. I'm going to dig in as much as I can. Probably won't be too much because this needs to cool down for at least in about an hour. So I'm probably going to go take a bath first and come back to it. I don't know. one more bite though just to make sure that it's good so I can let y'all know. But it's almost like soup. You know how soup just be way too hot? That's fire. As I say that I'm gonna just go ahead and let it cool off. I keep eating. Put so many crumbs on the counter, y'all don't judge me. I've been cooking. Oh, it's dough all at the bottom. Period. Now this is gonna be hot. This is the last one for real for real. Alright, we're gonna take a little sip of wine and we out. Thank you if you made it to this part of the video. We are trying our best to keep up with cooking with legs. If you want to see me make something, always comment down below what you want to see me make next. And we're going to go ahead and get in the bed and get ready for work tomorrow. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.